behind the Bitcoin network. The Bitcoin network is a protocol-based network that enables uh, trustless transactions. Now, the last protocol-based network that really took off actually changed the world. As a matter of fact, anybody who is, say, 21 years or younger doesn't know life without it. Its protocol was known as TCP IP, with the IP standing for Internet Protocol. This protocol-based network, the Internet, allowed for seamless transactions through Internet packet you know, transference. Let's forget the nerdy talk. You're able to send information inexpensively around the world, close to free. This transformed everybody, but in the beginning, or transformed life for everybody, but in the beginning, when the internet was uh, first burgeoning, say 1993, 1994, only nerds and propeller heads and engineers were familiar with it. And then as companies started to catch on, they tried to use this technology, but they used it in a very haphazard way. For instance, when they created websites, big media companies, when they would create a website, they would take a picture of their physical newspaper, the front page, and they post that picture on their website, and they consider that progressive use of the technology. Fast forward 20 years into the future, you have Facebook, social media, Google, YouTube, peer-to-peer um, -peer video streaming. You have uh, Google Search, you have Google Voice, you have Amazon, you have eBay, new forms of commerce, e-commerce. You know, the sky essentially seems to be the limit. But the internet-based platform was just the very, very beginning of how to take a protocol-based network and use it to extrapolate, move into the future. This paradigm shift is significantly greater than the paradigm shift from um, wired information transfer to wireless through the internet. And think about the wealth that was created. Before then, IBM um, ruled mini computers. From IBM and mini computers to PCs, it was Microsoft's reign. Microsoft survived the paradigm shift from the PC to the internet, but they didn't remain on top. And from, from PC computing to mobile and internet computing, then you had Google, you have Facebook, and you have Apple on top, the mobile computing giants. Now, instead of sending information packets from point A to point B, we're now able to send value and consensus-based agreement and trust from point A to point B. Much larger market. So, if you would have wanted to be an investor, early investor in Microsoft, you know, pre-IPO, if you wanted to be an early investor in Google, pre-IPO, or Facebook, or Apple, you missed out, and you see missed out on the largest companies in the world. Apple and Google are vying to be the most, the most, uh, the largest companies in the world in terms of market share. Seven hundred billion there, eight hundred billion here. I suppose, and I propose that the early companies in value transfer, the peer-to-peer -peer economy, will be the Googles, will be the Apples of the next paradigm. That's where Veritasium stands.